Hi there. For this session, I'm going to show you about how to do OS fingerprinting. Now, I'm going to show you several different ways of doing the operating system fingerprinting as a part of the uh, reconnaissance. Okay, so let's start. First, You can use ping and let's say I have two or three different uh, targets so I'll, I'm going to ping the first one okay then I'm going to also ping the second one which is in different subnet uh, I have set up a router to facilitate uh, my, you know, connection. Yeah, so 192.168. Okay. Now, from this, from the result. Okay. Let's have a look. Let me run a zoom tool. Just give me a minute. Okay, so let's review the result. Um, first, I'm going to uh, get my tool. Okay, and here. Okay. Now let's focus on the TTL. Okay, for the first uh, target, I've got the TTL of one twenty eight. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, on the second target, I got TTL of sixty three. Okay, so. Did you know that you can actually just use the TTL to determine what type of operating system is on your target? Yeah. So let's have a look at the TTL value. Yeah, here. So the first one, 128 represent Windows operating system as you can see here we got Windows operating system Windows XP Windows Vista 7 server and so on and so forth all are uh, you know having the same TTL or time to leave which is 128 right and what about 63 63 is roughly almost like the 64 yeah so i might uh, or we might suggest that the uh, yeah so the ttl earlier ttl was actually 63 or you know slash 64 so most likely the operating system behind is uh, behind the target or your target operating system is actually a linux yeah or unix base okay so the ttl 64 for linux kernel 2.4 up to 2.6 yeah so most likely this one okay so that's so the first thing to do was actually uh, to use the uh, ping just to look at the result yeah so this represent Linux and this represent Windows okay now the second technique we could actually use is to use nmap of course by using this uh, O option and type the target IP address. Uh, it says that OS fingerprinting requires root privilege, so I need to run sudo and put a password. Okay. And as you can see that the operating system running was detected to be Microsoft Windows 2000 or XP yeah and if you scan the second one 
which is 192.168.1.125. This is detected running Linux kernel 2.4.x. Okay, so we got uh, the operating system based on the O option on Nmap. Yeah, it will tell us what type of operating systems are running on our target machines. Okay, now uh, the other way to actually uh, detect the um, uh, operating system or to do OS fingerprinting is by utilizing the MSF console uh, or the Metasploit uh, framework uh, console by utilizing the uh, auxiliary. Let's uh, just uh, run this. Search for the SMB. So you can use this SMB auxiliary. Uh, let me just check uh, the scanner SMB version here. So you can take advantage of this, copy, and then run this. So let's just use this and set our host. You can put like a range of IP addresses or the network uh, range or directly the IP address of your target. Let's say 131.107.1.131. And if I run. And we got the result that our target is running Windows 2000 Service Pack 0 up to 4 with the language of English. And you can set again the R hosts for our second target and run and it was actually detected as running Unix with Samba 2.2.5 okay uh, alright so you can use this auxiliary scanner on Metasplite framework and the last one is actually to use the tool called p0f so I need to run this as root so sudo and then this is actually the passive uh, fingerprinting tool yeah, that allows you to detect the operating system of your target so all you need to do is you just use a browser for example and go to let's say HTTP 131 107 or something okay and if you look at the result yeah the result actually shows me that it is actually running some kind of operating system yeah maybe because of the uh, signature was not really updated yet so I don't see anything but here I can see that it's actually running uh, you know Microsoft IIS version 5 <clears throat> and if you go to uh, search it on Google so you just type Microsoft IIS 5 and this is actually running on definitely Microsoft operating system yeah so using Microsoft Windows 2000 so Microsoft Internet Information Services version 5 is actually running on Microsoft Windows 2000. Yeah. You can also do the same thing on for the second one. Yeah. You just type 192.168.1.125. It doesn't uh, because there's no uh, web service running. So I, I was not able to detect anything. But it says that it's actually running Windows, uh, sorry, Linux uh, kernel 2.2. Uh, it looks like it's Linux 2.2 up to 3. Point something. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I was actually not uh, getting the idea of uh, or the result of the 192. Yeah. So I was showing you the wrong one. Okay. So. 
uh, this is actually a wrong interpretation of the operating system so we can ignore it but we can just focus on the uh, the things earlier which is Microsoft IS version 5 yeah this is definitely running on uh, Windows operating system so this is actually running on Windows 2000 or even XP yeah just by looking at the uh, application of service running on the target machine for the second one because there's no IIS so I was not able to get uh, the connection but uh, let me try another way of you know uh, getting the uh, operating system maybe just use the netcat for example dash V and then we can connect to 192.168 Dot one dot let's say um, let's check the result of the previous one uh, secure shell you can connect to the secure shell or yeah you can try this one so uh, port 22 yeah. or we can use the uh, SSH root at uh, 192.168.1.125 one, okay unable to negotiate uh, matching blah 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 there's something wrong with we need to fix but uh, let's just check hmm maybe we can try something on the other one uh, 139 maybe 6,000 using that cap and see what's the response yeah uh, it's yeah we got the result um, here it shows that the operating system running yeah, from the connection here. Yeah, we got the result yeah, from here. We got the result that uh, shows me that the operating system running uh, on the target machine is Linux. Yeah, 2.4 point something. Okay, so Just to recap, we use uh, the first thing that we did was actually to use the uh, ping, yeah, to detect the operating system running on the target machines, and then we use the um, you know uh, nmap with the dash o. Then we use the Metasploit Frameworks auxiliary uh, module then finally we use the p0f yeah so actually uh you know get the idea about the operating systems running on the target machine all right so uh that's all for today and i hope that you enjoy the video the tutorial and if you have any question let me know and yeah, again, you can go back to this for the OS fingerprinting value, especially to detect the operating system. Yeah, you can actually detect the operating system by using the TTL as well as the TCP window size. Yeah, so that's all for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Bye-bye.